day number two of hiking the Appalachian Trail in a hundred days. Didn't get quite as early a start today, but today is a bit less intense than yesterday, about 20 miles, I think, and not near as much elevation. This uh, right here is a pretty easy section of the trail, that's why I pulled out my phone. So, I think I woke up around five, a little after five, um, and definitely a slower start in general this morning. Just uh, taking it easy. So I got on the trail about seven and about a mile and a half in since then. Oh my goodness. Nice little viewpoint here, down in this little valley, and there's a little stream down there. It's pretty neat. So a little bit over 17 miles and about eight hours in today, and uh, out here up on this little bit of a mountain, and there's a beautiful view of Katahdin. So there it is, Katahdin is right up there and uh, nice view of Namakanta Lake down below which I'm going to be staying at tonight hopefully right along the beach another viewpoint here of Katahdin and oh man a little breeze bro blowing in feels wonderful today So made it to the beach here at Namatanka Lake, I think that's right, and uh, beach is uh, pretty nice and there's a, down at the far end over there, there's a natural spring I guess, that the water is really cold and clear. Um, it's very small so it takes a while to fill up a jug but um, I thought it was worth it. Downside is that there are lots of mosquitoes and little gnats here, so just got my rain jacket on with my hood up to protect my face as much as I can, and got the tent back there, and my pack and get my dinner cooked up right now. So in the tent for the night, and a uh, solid day today, had a good time this evening at the lake, only major problem like I mentioned was the gnats. It took me probably 20 minutes at least to get my bear bag up just because I was being absolutely attacked by them the whole time and half the time I can't even feel them when they're on my body but um, when they bite I think they have some sort of thing that pulls out your or uh, makes your blood less coagulated. I forget what the word is but um, thins your blood and so you actually kind of bleed a little bit, um, which is annoying. And at first, I thought they were getting through the netting in my tent. Um, and then I was like, oh man, there is no way I'm going to get through the night like this. Um, but it turns out when you like slap them and kill them, they don't um, die very easily. You kind of got to absolutely smash them into the ground or else they're just kind of stunned and then get back up. But right about 20 miles today puts me at 18 mile 38.6, I believe. And that means I have 21.1 uh, .1 tomorrow. So um, just a little bit further, but I think that shouldn't be too big a deal. I do know there's at least two river crossings that I will have to ford. So that'll slow me down as I'll probably have to change my shoes into my Crocs and then back again on the other side. But uh, hopefully that's not too big a deal.